how to run an Agile retrospective with the Starfish exercise. This exercise is actually very common and I'm pretty sure you come across it. But I still want to explain it because it's really, really important and really, really simple. So this exercise is very simple. You start this exercise by drawing a huge circle on the wall and you draw five different areas inside of that circle. The stop area, the start area, less, more and keep. Okay? And the way how you run this exercise is very simple. You can ask your team to think about all the practices, everything that went through the sprint that they want to stop. Things that did not go that well and they really literally want to stop. Okay? Ask them to brainstorm and put those actions into note, notepads, post-its, whatever, doesn't matter. Just post them into the area of the stop. Okay? The next one is asking your colleagues to think what are the things that we want to try out, we want to start, that we always wanted to try out but we never were able to. So ask them actions that they want to start on the upcoming sprint. Again, they will brainstorming, they will put them on the post-its and then you put the post-its on the wall. The third area is the less area. So these are usually practices that team already started in the past but they are not really giving the right value. So for example, they maybe started a lunch club where they basically they share a lot of activities and a lot of learnings, but these learnings or this session happen every two weeks. Maybe you should do less of it and start doing once a week or sorry, once a month. Then the area of more. So something that you are already practicing and you are already doing and you saw that there is a lot of value on it, like for example, pair programming. Just do pair programming once every time or every week, whatever, doesn't matter. Just ask them to see what they want to have more. So pair programming could be something that you could turn out into a default way of working. And the last one is the one that you want to keep, okay? So the ones that you already tried in the past is really bringing some really good value and you want to keep. And this is the areas, the, the, the areas that you will ask your colleagues to basically put on the post-it and put it on the wall. After that, take like 10, 20 minutes, allow the people to go through all these areas and generate the ideas that you want to focus on the upcoming sprint. So of course, the ones that you stop or do less or whatever, they are not so important, at least from my point of view. My point of view, the ones that you want to focus is the one that you want to start and the ones that are hurting you. Those are the things that you should focus. Generate again, two or three ideas to pick up for the next sprint, select them and go for it and have fun. I'm pretty sure you will be able to do really good improvements in your team.